What is going on Blossom is back and welcome back to another episode of Top Drives and another episode of Blossom's Ultimate Upgrade Guide. You guys know how it is on this series already. I'm going to talk about every RQ55 car in the game with some outdated pictures from the Top Drives Club, but they are all RQ55 in the game as we speak, as of JPT, as of like PL14.2. I'll be telling you how I would upgrade every single car here, and then I would talk about the prioritization, about what are the best 55s and the worst 55s, in my opinion. So with that said, let's get straight into it. Today's artwork is brought to you by the color red. We have the Nitro, the 330E, the NSX, the 130i, the Murano, and the Desire. So let's get into it with 969 on the RQ55 cars. Now, here, very, very, very fundamental, okay? We have the all-surface tire cars, we have standard tire cars, and we have four-wheel drive performance medium ground clearance cars. Now, one thing I need to note is that in my RQ54 video, I accidentally put the Mercedes, I think it was G500 in 969. I am so sorry. I did not mean to do that. I don't know how it got there. Um, I make these presentations. I record these presentations. I edit these presentations. Uh, and videos and for some reason nowhere in any of those processes did I realize oh the Mercedes G500 is in the wrong place that is well and truly a 996 car I think I was just like blanked out at the time I was like oh also if it's tire 969 so yeah that Mercedes is 996 I did pin that comment in the video so hopefully you guys saw that but yes I got 969 on these cars over here nothing too surprising a bunch of standard tires a bunch of all service tires now the thing I want to talk about are going to be these the 530 the 300 C and the 330 E and the TLX if you want to dry spec them, then go 699. But I think at the end of the day, these are going to be cars that you're going to be using on the wet. What was so special about the Acura RSX, which I put in 699, was because it handled so well. It had 80 base handling. None of these cars here get close to 80 base handling. The closest is 76 with the TLX, but that one is 100% you want a 969 because it's the only front wheel drive standard tire ultra rare in the entire game. So that thing is the meta in its meta. Uh, moving on now to 699. Uh, we got, you know, once again, a lot of performance tire cars. We got some convertibles, some hot hatches, some of them are medium, some of them are low. But at the end of the day, what they have all in common is that they're all 699. As you can see here, the lowest handling car is 77. Now, the BMW Z8 gave me a lot of problems, I would say, because now it got a nerf. It's not 4577 anymore. It's 4.877. So when it was 4.5, you could pretty easily say, okay, you can drag spec this and get, you know, get it down to 3.60 to 60, but now it will only get to 3.9. And that is if you drag spec it. Uh, mine is drag spec because mine used to be 3.6. It used to be 4.5, but now it's 4.8. So it's like, okay, the 0 to 60 isn't very good anymore. The top speed is very basic for a German car, and 77 handling is among the worst in its RQ. It is the worst in its RQ, and among the worst from RQ50 to 55 in general. So the BMW Z8 has become, in my opinion, one of the absolute worst RQ58 cars. It genuinely is hot garbage. The only thing that it has going for it is the convertible niche, truly. It's not even a 90s car considering it broke into 2000s. The BMW M3 convertible used to be one of the worst RQ55 cars in my opinion, but with the nerf to the Z8, I have to give it to the Z8 because they both have the same 0 to 60. Uh, sorry, they have the same handling and their 0 to 60 is 5.2, 4.8, but then the M3 convertible is also medium. So it's like, I mean, at the end of the day, they're both really, really bad cars, but I would give them all 699. The rest of these are pretty obvious like the NSX, the Magan R26, the Pantera, uh, and of course the Desire. I get it. If you want to win only like the slalom and the hairpin of the Desire, then fine, go 323. But if you want to win Twisty Circuit, Twisty Road, put it on the Desire. All right, put 699 on the Desire. Uh, moving on to 996 now, there are three cars over here. The first one is the Aston Martin Bulldog. That thing is ridiculous ridiculous now. I mean, the MRA on this thing is bonkers and the top speed is amazingly high. The Chevrolet Trailblazer SS needs absolutely no introduction. This thing is a staple in anybody's garage. And last but not least, it's the fish car. Uh, it's Pops' favorite Chrysler. It's Pops' 
favorite Chrysler, the Chrysler 300M concept. This has MR, right? The 0 60 isn't the best, right? It's not like 4.3 in like the Tamora or the Charger 3. But when it comes to Chrysler events, I mean, like I said, you know, 165 top speed is above the average of 155. 5.0 isn't the best, but it has decent MRA. It's a pretty good dragster. The handling is okay as well. So if you want to go 233 and use it primarily for a fast circuit, go for it. But I would say, yeah, for Chrysler events, go 332, put that on a drag. Uh, it's kind of up there with the Phaeton. And the Chrysler Phaeton has a lower 0 to 60 compared to the 300M, although the Chrysler Phaeton has a lower 0 to 60. Did I say that? No, sorry. The Chrysler Phaeton has a lower 0 to 60 and a top speed. The 300M, although has a higher top speed, uh, although has a higher 0 to 60, has a higher top speed. So I think the Phaeton also, you know, the Phaeton's in a different category anyway. The Phaeton is in a higher RQ. I would say that at the end of the day, the 300M is the car that I would go 332 first, and then uh, 233 second, or 996 first, 699 second. Uh, moving on now to duplicates. These are the duplicates that I would collect for RQ55. The Acura TLX, like I said, is the meta. It's the only front wheel drive standard tire car ultra rare in the game the only standard tire front wheel drive ultra rare in the game so if there ever was a requirement where you had to use front wheel drive standard tires and it was an all rain event that would be the only car you could use or even if it was just a front wheel drive rain event and you could only use ultra rares the tlx would be your best bet i have three of those max all 323 all rain spec uh like i said the chevrolet trailblazer is a staple you want to drag spec that the thing is fantastic the mra is great for an suv top speed is high for an suv 2 to 60 is low for an suv and who cares about handling when you're a dragster uh the bmw 520d x drive as well is a staple the best standard tire car uh in general for rq55 in my opinion it handles really well it has four-wheel drive and you can use it in the city streets because it has medium ground clearance the Renault Desire is basically a low ground clearance version of the Renault Sport Megane both of them handle incredibly well the Desire is light and it has a very low 0 to 60 no top speed but it doesn't really matter kind of like how handling doesn't matter for a drag spec car top speed doesn't matter for a twisty spec car and then last but not least the Renault Sport Megane R26.R. Uh, now this is the best city streets medium car in my opinion. It has medium ground clearance and it has the absolute best handling. You get that thing nine uh, six nine nine and it's gonna hit ninety seven handling. That thing is massive. Uh, Five point seven zero to sixty isn't. It's, it's on the lower end, I would say. It is quite slow, uh, 5.7, but that 87 handling stock is enough to really rectify any problems. Uh, so I would get duplicates on all five of these cars. So with that said, guys, let's get into the tier maker, and I'm going to show you my priority list for all of the RQ55 cars in the game, in my opinion. Here we go. No surprises here. Priority one all the way to hog garbage. We're going to start with priority one. These are cars that every player should collect, and as you can see here, it's basically every car I've listed in duplicates. Obviously, you can also want to, you want to get the Bulldog, but it's really hard to get duplicates of the Bulldog, considering it's a price car. And you can get duplicates of it, but that would have meant that you would need to compete in Silver Screen, uh, the first ever Silver Screen, and I think the, the second Call of the Wild, whatever it came out again. Uh, but yeah, those are the best cars. I've already said why those are the best, because I have them all under the duplicate tab. So let's move down to priority two. These are the cars that most players should consider getting. The Acura NSX and the D Tommaso Pantera are great substitutes to the Desire. They're also twisty cars that handle well, and their 0 60s are low, but they're just not as good because they're not as light as a Desire and they have a higher 0 to 60. Now, that's a bad thing in this case because when you're a twisty car, 0 to 60 doesn't really matter. So um, they have the same RQ because although they have worse like handling and 0 to 60 compared to the Desire, they are on the same boat because it's kind of equalized because the NSX and the Pantera have a higher 0 to 60 that they're barely hit. Um, you can say that they are somewhat hybrid cars, but it's not like they have jaw drop dropping MRA or anything. Um, but yeah, they're good substitutes for the Desire, but if you want to use a twisty car for RQ55, always stick with the Desire. Uh, and then we have the Chrysler 300C. Now, I, I, I made this a line in purpose because this basically shows you the hierarchy of, I would say, RQ55 uh, rear wheel drive or front wheel drive standard tire cars. The, the 520D is like the supreme. He is like the best of the best. Um, he, oh, I guess I just assumed it's gender. I'm so Sorry, it's like the best of the best. But yeah, as you can see here, Acura TLX, like I said, the thing is the meta. The 300 uh, C has the lowest 0 to 60. 
uh, with 5.3 compared to 5.8 and 6.4 and it handles pretty well not the highest 75 is the highest but I would take 5.3 and 74 over 6.4 and 75 any day of the week um, yeah 7 point, uh, 74 72 75 and once again the BMW is at the bottom of the list because although I like to, to prioritize cars that handle the most the 6.40 to 60 chief is just way too bad i mean you were talking about the same rq here and a one second difference i don't care that this has 155 top speed you're not going to be using a 530 d 530d on a dry anyway um so i would put the 330e second because of the lower 0 to 60 um but obviously my first choice if it came to just rear wheel drive would be the 300c but then my first first choice would be the tlx because this thing is basically its own meta um so moving on here i've also put this uh in on purpose in a line as you can see here these are all the city streets medium or, or the medium ground clearance cars that are either front wheel drive or rear wheel drive the reynolds sport magon r26 is the best of the bunch in my opinion it is light and it handles the most and then we have the q50s which is a bit of an all-rounder right it doesn't handle but it has the lowest zero to 60 out of the bunch the dodge srt4 has a low zero to 60 but it doesn't handle very well and then we have the Peugeot 308, which basically encapsulates almost the worst of two parties. It has the worst 0 to 60 out of the four here, and it has the second worst handling out of the four here as well. I know that the Peugeot 308 has better MRA than the three cars above it, but like I said, when you're deploying this on this vanilla city streets medium or small, it doesn't really matter. And I feel like even if I put it on like a Monte Carlo or Ocean City Streets, the Q50 is going to be better anyway because the 0 to 60 difference is night and day or should i say day and night um, and then last but not least the worst of the worst city streets medium car is indeed the bmw m3 this thing is like in a it's in a league of its own of just hot garbage bro um 77 handling when you think about it 87 these two are medium ground clearance cars in the same rq the same rq and they have a 10 handling difference that is really, really sad. Uh, and then next up, we have the all-service tire cars. The M80 is great because once again, it, it fits in a lot of niches. It's a two-door, it's a pickup, um, but outside of that, it handles well and it's very lightweight. So it's kind of like the Suzuki Ignis. Um, but for ultra rares and i mean there are multiple ignises in the game now so i mean the super rare all surface ignis so this is like the ultra rare version of it right it's still super light uh it still handles very well four wheel drive all surface tires uh and then of course with the ford escort rs cosworth that's four wheel drive medium ground clearance and handles very well it's kind of like a lanza delta but british uh and then obviously priority three are for the intermediate players uh, so this is basically if you have most of these cars maxed out already then you can start looking at the dodge srt4 uh the murano which handles pretty well but it is very heavy and, the, and of course the fish car the fish car pops his fish car uh, priority force for the advanced players we have cars like the blitzen now the blitzen is kind of tough you know the blitzen is like it has like the mra you know it's one of three subarus i consider to have quote unquote mra a good mra on a subaru is like 75 76 78 something like that so the blitzen's around that zero to 60 is very bad the top speed is okay uh the handling is okay once again it's it's a bit of a hybrid but like not a very good one at that so if you have nothing better to upgrade then go for that i guess but that's why i put it under priority four uh you have the 130i as well 5.781 is basically the same as the 308 gti so they are in the same category uh they have exactly the same stats like bang for bang for bang uh and then last but not least hot garbage so i already talked about it the m3 and the z8 both of them i mean why are you even a 55 you have 77 handling and you are a performance tire car. I get it, the M3 at least is medium, but the Z8, 77 handling, you're not a dragster, your top speed isn't high, and you have low ground clearance, just because that convertible tag is that convertible tag is not enough to carry you to 50 55 rq i don't care um and it's really really bad the nitro as well it's like i don't know what the nitro is trying to be right it doesn't handle but it doesn't have it doesn't have the zero to 60 uh of the chevrolet trailblazer so it's not a dragster either and the top speed isn't very high it's like 
Honestly, that could pass as an RQ51 car, maybe even a 50 car, to be completely honest. And last but not least is the Pontiac Trans Am 30th Anniversary. Why this went up from 54 to 53 beats me, bro, okay? It actually beats me. The 0 to 60 on that thing is also atrocious. Um, and also, the handling isn't very good. So when you look at it, 5381, 5378, and they're both in the same RQ. I get it. This has a little more RQ, uh, MRA. But it's not like this has 90 MRA. I think it's like 80 or something like that. And once again, it's not really a dragster so in my opinion these are going to be all the hot garbage the priority four cars three two and of course the best of the best are on the top but anyway guys that's going to be rq55 let me know if you agreed or disagree with me down in the comments below i'm hoping to see that you guys have some really good input from me this time as well anyway i hope you guys have a great day i'm going to stay safe wash your hands and blossom out peace